Welcome back, space exploration artists. Today we are going to be making a star from salt dough. This is influenced by our reading today of How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffers. We hope you enjoyed and let's get started. So the first thing that you are going to do is get a bowl. That kind of one of my old used art room bowls don't fear, we are not going to eat this star. It is just going to be an ornament. So if your bowl is dirty with paint and art supplies, it's okay. All right, so the recipe for salt dough is one cup of flour and a half a cup of table salt, okay? Then you're going to mix this together Once you get that stirred up, then you're going to take a half a cup of water and slowly mix it in. Again, this is not for eating. Do not put this in your mouth. Okay, so mix it up there. You can see it is starting to stick from the edges there just kind of like you're making biscuit dough now at this point you could probably jump in and start kneading with your fingers I can kind of tell by the consistency that it may need a little bit more flour some areas look a little too wet for me to actually start kneading this Not a problem though. And it looks like I did, didn't even use all of the recipe water, but it does look like I used too much. So, like I said, just a little bit at a time. And I can just sprinkle, again, kind of like the water, just a little bit until I think it's the right consistency. You wanna be able to Play with it and shape it and roll it out without it sticking to everything. Okay, so once we're here, you can start kneading with your fingers. This is the fun part. So you can grab it and just like you were making biscuits or rolling dough, you're just going to squish all of that together Maybe slide it around and get some of the flour off of the sides. Kind of move the bowl out once you get comfortable enough and you think it's good to start kneading and it's not too sticky. You can kind of pick it up in your hands and you can just start squishing it. You're just kneading this up. Once this is good, you can sprinkle some of that flour mixture onto your wax paper or aluminum foil and I'm just going to press that there and just so it won't stick to the roller you could put a little bit more flour kind of on the top so once you're done with this part you can start to roll again if you notice that it's sticking to your roller just sprinkle more flour on it that should work now I'm gonna roll this out maybe um, a little less than about a half an inch. You can kind of decide what is a good shape for your ornament. Once you have your dough, you can cut out your stars. If you don't have a star cookie cutter, you can use a sharp knife and just cut out a simple heart or star shape. So I'm going to press kind of shake it a little bit and then pull up. When it pulls up, I'm just going to set this aside and I can do that a couple times. Press, kind of shimmy and then when it lifts up, I can grab that and put it to the sides. If it messes up, that's no problem. You can just take this and work it back into a ball 
roll it back out. You probably definitely need some flour because it's super sticky, but then cut it again. So cut plenty of these out. And once you're finished, you can bake them in the oven. And if you wanna turn this into something that you can hang up, you can actually take a straw um, and poke a hole somewhere in your ornament and then make those like a string of um, stars or lights. So I'm gonna try this one more time. Maybe it won't stick. And if it does, like I said, no big deal. We can just make some more. Pull straight up and let it just drop into your hand and you can shape it before you put it in the oven. After you bake your stars, you can paint them many different colors, hang them up, and they will last a long time, especially if you spray them with um, kind of a polyurethane coating that can be either matte or shiny. You could also use Mod Podge. If you don't have Mod Podge, simple Elmer's glue mixed with a little bit of water will do the trick also. So, definitely needed more flowers because these flower, this just stuck all together, which is just fine. I'll just make some more. We hope you enjoyed. See you next time. The 2021 Summer Space Exploration Kids Art Camp is brought to you by the Monroe Area Council for the Arts and supported by the East Tennessee Foundation and the Grubb Sumner Grant. Thank you.